seven long years of waiting that culminated in the year 2000 when Astro E would join two other X ray observatories in orbit NASA's Chandra X ray Observatory and Europe's X ray Multi Mirror Mission. While physically located on opposite sides of the Earth, the Japanese and American teams worked closely in pursuit of their shared goal. Together, they developed X-ray spectrometers, X-ray telescopes, and lasting friendships. Their hard work and careful planning led to this day, launch day for Astro E, a day that would bring to each of them the realities of high-risk ventures like spaceflight. It was okay for a while, and what happened was the lining of the rocket nozzle burned through. And that first stage started to corkscrew. The Japanese people started saying something's wrong. You really don't know what happened to Astro E. It was seen at the tracking station on Christmas Island in the Pacific Ocean. And there's another tracking station in Brazil which did not ever get a signal from it. So we think it's somewhere in the South Pacific. We were all down. Remember, I couldn't even drive home. I mean, I got a ride home. We all went out for karaoke and, and sang and cried with each other. It was um, like a death in the family here. You know, it's just a bunch of hardware. And so what? But then I realized it, it meant that I wasn't going to get to see these people again, maybe for a very long time. Well, by the time I flew back from Japan, we were all feeling a little better because by then we had decided that we needed to write a proposal. We got a mail saying, hey, there is a meeting tomorrow and, you know, enough, enough morning, now we're back to work. Well, these things usually take two or three months to write, but we figured we could do it in a week. The entire proposal was put together in a week's time and it has become a model of proposals. For me, it was just, I think, the most intense experience in working with a group of people that I've ever had. That intensity paid off. They met the deadline. Their proposal so impressed NASA management that the space agency awarded the team their new mission. And then the Japanese proposed a reflight of Astro E. We would call it Astro E2. The American and Japanese space agencies decided to combine the two missions, reuniting the Astro E team and setting them on a course to build the coolest X ray satellite Astro E 2. Let's meet these members of the Astro E 2 team. There's a few of us at work that we have a, we have a little band. Uh, we're called Naked Singularity. 